Hey, what up Long Beach? Welcome back to the 562.org. It's Mike, and this high school basketball video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. Get your jaw right. It's playoff time. Long Beach Poly hosting Crossroads, a Division I first round game here in the Ron Palmer Pavilion. We knew from the beginning this was going to be a good one. Long Beach Poly coach Shelton Diggs with a smart game plan to get the rest of the Jackrabbits roster besides Peyton Watson involved early. Wendell Caldwell pouring it in in the first quarter. Gabe Cummings, the sophomore, able to knock down a big shot as well. Jackrabbits knew they were going to need more than just their star junior scoring and did a good job of focusing early. But Crossroads playing great defense, scoring in transition off of turnovers, and they would take a 13-12 lead after the first quarter. Crossroads really took this game over early in the second quarter. We were able to build up to a 21-12 lead, kind of put the Jackrabbits' backs against the wall for the first of a couple different times in this game. Polly didn't want to settle for outside shots. It said, give me some Watsons to the, to the tin. Peyton Watson, Christian Watson, both of them just running to the rim, getting easy buckets for the Jackrabbits. Crossroads not really able to do much to stop either one of them. And as Peyton starts to pull into the mid-range, that's going to set up the pull-up to tie the game late in the second quarter. Gabe Cummings, another big shot, keeping the Jackrabbits within one possession. But a couple baskets late in the quarter off of turnovers, and Crossroads would take a 31-26 lead into halftime. Second half, you really saw the whole team coming through for the Jackrabbits. This was the game plan, as I said, the speedy Anthony Robinson with the basket. Peyton Watson, obviously expecting some scoring from him. Chris Watson, some circus layups in this one. And then that sophomore, Gabe Cummings, very comfortable shooting the ball on the quick catch and release. And then Robinson here knows exactly where he's going with that one, puts the Jackrabbits up 40 to 37. Polly really came on strong here in the third quarter. Chris Watson, the dime to Rafael Cruz. And then Cummings, the big block. Gotta love that one. And then it's another uh, nifty up and under from Chris Watson to put Polly up 46-41 going to the fourth quarter. But Crossroads not going anywhere. They were following the Jackrabbits game plan, stopped settling for jump shots, went straight to the basket. Watson a good job on the rebound and finding Cruz. But Polly up five, it's going to be a 10-0 crossroads run early in the fourth quarter to put him up 55-50 here on the road with six to play. And Polly's given up some leads this season. I think uh, Polly fans probably nervous when they saw that happening, but no stress from the Jackrabbits roster. A big three from Robinson, a big and one from Watson. He would go to the free throw line and convert that to put the Jackrabbits back on top by a point. And then Robinson on the putback. So those two combined make an 8-0 run to follow up the 10-0 run and put the Jackrabbits back on top. But this ties it with under three minutes to go. Major turning point here is Cruz makes the free throw. And then sophomore Henry Adiasa is whistled for a fifth foul on the box out. Crossroads understandably upset about that. They lose their big man for the rest of the game. Watson able to slip past the defense, and this is going to put Polly up three with a minute left. They're up four a little bit later. Great heads up play, using their speed to run some valuable seconds off the clock here. And uh, Lakers know the game is in the bag when the jello is jiggling and it's in the fridge. Polly knows they've won a game when John Atkinson stands up and puts his jacket on. Polly up four points with seven seconds left, but Act Dog's feeling pretty comfortable. <laughs> He's got the jacket on, he's ready to go out. Last shot is gonna fall awry and the Jackrabbits win it 66-60 to advance to the second round of the Division I playoffs. They will be at Riverside Poly on Friday for coverage of the rest of the Long Beach basketball playoffs. You already know, you gotta keep it right here at the 562.org.